The National Electoral Council in Venezuela says elections for the country's National Assembly will be held on 6th December. Delays in setting a date had raised concerns that the poll could be cancelled, but the council said to be Celucina said that was never on the cards and denied that the council had bowed to the opposition demands. The United Socialist Party of Venezuela President Nicolas Maduro currently holds a majority of seats, but recent polls suggest that if the election were held now, the opposition coalition would win in a landslide. Venezuela's rampant crime, the drop in oil revenues and chronic shortages of basic goods have hurt President Maduro's approval ratings. Ms. Lusna announced that the official campaign period would run from 13 November to 3rd December. The opposition coalition, the Democratic Unity Roundtable, had accused election officials of dragging their feet because of the governing party's poor showing in the opinion polls. Ms. Lucina said the UNASUR group of countries, which is generally considered to be friendly towards the Venezuelan government, would be allowed to observe the polls. It is not clear whether Mr. Lopez, who has been on hunger strike since May, will now end his protest. He has been in jail for more than a year, accused of inciting violence during anti-government protests last year, in which more than 40 people died. UN investigators said on Monday that Israel and Palestinian militant groups committed grave abuses of the international humanitarian law during the 2014 Gaza conflict that may amount to war crimes. They called on all sides to cooperate with the International Criminal Court, which has opened a separate preliminary investigation.